Have you ever walked into a room full of people and felt invisible? It's a sensation that can hit you like a wave, making you question your presence and your worth. You stand there, hoping someone will notice you, but it feels like you're a ghost, unseen and unheard. You try to engage but your attempts are met with silence or averted gazes. You muster the courage to speak, to break into the conversation, but your words seem to vanish into thin air. The group continues their chatter, oblivious to your presence and you start to wonder if you even exist in their world. It's a deflating experience, one that can leave you feeling small and insignificant. The weight of being ignored can press down on you, making you feel like you're shrinking like your voice doesn't matter. It's a heavy burden to carry, and it can affect your self-esteem and your sense of belonging. The truth is, being ignored is a common human experience, one that can stem from a variety of reasons. It happens to everyone at some point, and it's not always a reflection of your value or your worth. Sometimes people are preoccupied with their own thoughts and concerns, and they fail to notice those around them. It's important to remember that being ignored doesn't diminish your worth. Your value is intrinsic, and it doesn't depend on the recognition of others. You are important, and your presence matters, even if it doesn't always feel that way. Often the reasons why people ignore others have more to do with them than with you. They might be dealing with their own insecurities, distractions, or social anxieties. It's not always a personal slight, sometimes it's just a reflection of their own struggles. Understanding these reasons can be the first step in navigating these situations more effectively. By recognizing that being ignored is not a judgment on your character, you can start to approach social interactions with more confidence and resilience. Let's delve into some of the common factors that might contribute to why someone might be ignoring you. By exploring these factors, we can gain a better understanding of social dynamics and learn how to cope with the feelings of being overlooked. This knowledge can empower you to handle such situations with grace and self-assurance, knowing that your worth is not defined by the attention you receive. Shyness and introversion are often misunderstood. People who identify as shy or introverted might simply need more time to warm up in social settings. They might feel overwhelmed in large groups or find it challenging to initiate conversations. This doesn't mean they're not interested in connecting. They might be observing, processing, and gathering the courage to engage. It's important to approach such individuals with patience and understanding. Give them space, but also extend invitations to interact. Communication is a complex process, and misunderstandings are bound to happen. A casual remark can be misconstrued, or a tone of voice can be misinterpreted. These communication breakdowns can lead to feelings of hurt and resentment, causing one party to withdraw or ignore the other. If you feel like someone might be ignoring you due to a misunderstanding, it's essential to address the issue directly. Choose a private setting, express your feelings calmly, and seek clarification. Every social group has its own dynamics and hierarchies, often unspoken but nonetheless influential. These dynamics can determine who gets heard, who gets ignored, and how individuals interact with one another. Power dynamics, group affiliations, and even past experiences can shape these intricate social structures. It's important to be aware of these dynamics not to manipulate them, but to understand how they might influence interactions. Being observant and respectful of established norms can help you navigate these complexities more effectively. Section 5. The Power of Perception, Their Lens, Your Reality Perception plays a significant role in how we interpret the world around us. It is the lens through which we view every interaction, every conversation, and every relationship. This lens is not static. It evolves with our experiences, emotions, and the knowledge we acquire over time. Everyone views situations through their own unique lens, shaped by their experiences, beliefs, and biases. These individual lenses can create vastly different interpretations of the same event. For instance, a simple gesture of kindness might be seen as genuine by one person, while another might perceive it as having an ulterior motive. This means that what you intend to convey might not be what the other person perceives. Misunderstandings are common because each person's perception is influenced by their own internal filters. Effective communication requires an awareness of these differences and a willingness to clarify and understand the other person's perspective. 
Their perception of you might be influenced by past interactions, stereotypes, or even their current mood. For example, if someone has had negative experiences in the past, they might be more likely to view new interactions with suspicion or caution. Similarly, if they are in a bad mood, they might misinterpret neutral comments as negative. It's crucial to remember that you cannot control how others perceive you, but you can control your own actions and reactions. By being mindful of your behavior and striving to communicate clearly and empathetically, you can foster better understanding and stronger relationships. Personal empowerment comes from focusing on what you can control and letting go of the need to manage others' perceptions. Section 6. Emotional Intelligence. The Key to Understanding. Emotional intelligence is a vital skill that can transform the way we interact with others and perceive the world around us. Emotional intelligence, or EQ, is the ability to understand and manage your own emotions and those of others. It is a skill that can be developed and honed over time, leading to more effective communication and stronger relationships. It involves empathy, self-awareness, and social skills, all crucial for navigating social situations effectively. Empathy allows us to connect with others on a deeper level. Self-awareness helps us understand our own emotional triggers, and social skills enable us to interact harmoniously with those around us. People with high EQ are often adept at reading social cues, understanding unspoken messages, and responding in ways that build bridges rather than walls. They can sense the underlying emotions in a conversation and adjust their responses accordingly, fostering a more positive and productive interaction. Developing your emotional intelligence can enhance your ability to understand why someone might be ignoring you. It helps you to not take things personally and to consider the broader context of the situation. It allows you to see the situation from their perspective, consider their emotional state, and respond with compassion and understanding. By doing so, you can diffuse potential conflicts and build stronger, more empathetic relationships. Emotional intelligence is not just about managing emotions, but also about using them to guide your thinking and behavior in a way that leads to positive outcomes for everyone involved. Section 7. Self-Awareness, Knowing Your Signals Just as important as understanding others is understanding yourself. Self-awareness involves recognizing your own emotions, triggers, and communication style. Are you coming across as approachable or standoffish? Are you sending mixed signals? Reflecting on your own behavior and how it might be perceived by others can provide valuable insights. Ask yourself if you're doing anything that might unintentionally push people away. Hash hash section 8. Improving communication. Clear and concise. Effective communication is crucial for building strong relationships and avoiding misunderstandings. When you communicate clearly and directly, you reduce the risk of misinterpretations and ensure that your message is received as intended. Avoid being vague, making assumptions, or using sarcasm, as these can easily lead to confusion. Practice active listening, which involves paying attention, asking clarifying questions, and reflecting back what you've heard. Hash hash section 9. Active listening, the art of engagement. Active listening is more than just hearing words. It's about truly understanding the speaker's message and perspective. It involves paying attention not only to the spoken words but also to the speaker's tone of voice, body language, and emotions. When you actively listen, you create a space where the other person feels heard and valued. Hash hash section 10. Nonverbal cues. Speaking volumes. Nonverbal communication such as body language, facial expressions, and eye contact can speak volumes. Your nonverbal cues convey your emotions, attitudes, and level of engagement, often more powerfully than your words. Pay attention to your own nonverbal signals and how they might be perceived by others. Maintain open body language, make eye contact, and use facial expressions that reflect your interest and engagement. Hash hash section 11. Building connections, small steps, big impact. Improving social interactions is a journey, not a destination. Start by focusing on small, achievable steps. Make an effort to engage in conversations, even if it feels uncomfortable at first. Practice active listening. Ask open-ended questions and show genuine interest in others. Remember that building strong relationships takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress along the way.